All right, we're going to go through this green screen demo. Open up Premiere, make a new project. Call it green screen demo. I'm going to put it somewhere where I know where it is. I made a handy folder for it with my source files in my desktop. So I'm going to put it there like a responsible human. Great. That pops up. Uh, I'm going to go grab those source files and drop them in there. Um, you will probably not need most of these for the homework, but um, because you'll have your own green screen that we shot in class. But here we go. I'm going to grab Central Park. That's my backdrop. Drag it in as a clip and uh, you could always uh, if you wanted to um, open that clip up first, edit it, make it shorter, longer, whatever. Um, and then you're going to use your green screen. I'm going to use this picture of swimming salmon. Um, that's lovely. Uh, oh, wait, that's not the right one. Sorry. Uh, fish. There we go. That's clearly superior. Um, this is longer than my background clip. Grab it and shorten it. If it doesn't snap to the end, make sure that you've got that little snap thing on there. Um, so those clips are in there now. If I toggle this on and off, right? Both the same size, aligned, all that good stuff. Um, but obviously green screen is not in effect. Um, to do that, I'm going to go into effects. If you don't see effects, you can go up to window, find effects. Um, and I'm just going to search for key. Uh, the thing we're looking for is called ultra key. Uh, it's a video effect. You could find it in those folders there. I find typing find key easier. I'm just going to drag that onto my fish. Um, so now when I go there, um, I can get to the effect controls. Now I'm looking for effect controls. I don't see it. Window up. Oh, it's not checked. Boop. There we go. Effect controls. Um, if you're having trouble, you can always reset your editing workspace. If that makes your life a little bit easier, things will be a little bit different, but there we go. So I have that fish clip selected and over here in effect controls, I have boom, ultra key. Awesome. I'm going to drag this over a little bit because we don't need to animate that. Um, and one of the things in ultra key, ultra key is key color, a little eyedropper, click on that and go click on the green of your green screen. Um, now there is a video on the website that goes through some of these key or key adjusting, whatever, um, variables that you can use to sort of tighten up what's being masked or what's not. Um, when I did it, uh, the other day, it seemed like aggressive was better than default. Um, when I'm doing it right now, default looks totally fine. Um, so not sure what that was about. Um, you may also find when you go and click on this that you get a pop-up saying, hey, uh, Premiere needs uh, permission to uh, record your screen. If you see that, that is totally fine. You should go ahead and do it. Um, so we've got that there. Green screen is out. That all looks delightful if I hit play. Got some fishes zipping around there. Um, so that's how we do a basic green screen. Again, watch the other video for how to clean it up if it seems a little messy. Um, but I'm going to stop this video and then we'll do another one on how to add some text.